I have always been an advocate of resizing and optimizing images before you upload them to your website, especially when you have a ton of images that you're going to put in a blog post. Now, previously I always used and recommended Photoshop Save for Web feature. The problem is that's a paid product that not everyone has. So my team went on a big discovery mission to find a free tool that did the same thing. And I'm super excited to share this one with you and walk through the way that this bulk image resizer works. So usually if you're going to blog a wedding or upload a bunch of photos to a gallery on your website, you have a big folder like this. This is a folder of images that came from a photographer. And you can see that these are as big as 1.8 megabytes, which is huge. And this file itself is over 3000 pixels in dimension, which is bigger than it really needs to be for any website. So how do we make this smaller and compress the file size without losing too much quality so that it loads faster on the website? That's what this bulk image resizing tool is for. Let me show you how it works and the settings that I recommend that you use. To start with at the top, we're going to add images, assuming that you have them in a folder on your computer already. So I'm going to go to that folder and select all of them that are in the folder and click open. I've got 62 images selected and that's 42 megabytes in size. Here's where we configure what we're going to do with these images. We're going to go to the resize section and in the drop down, we're going to select longest side. And the longest side I recommend generally for a blog post, we resize to about 1600 pixels. That means if the image is horizontal, the width will be 1600. If the image is vertical, then the height will be 1600 pixels. So it makes it consistent. We'll leave the rest of these settings and then just adjust the quality. I've experimented with quality and I recommend going to about 80. It'll still look good, but the image will actually be much, much smaller. Once you're done with that, all you have to do is click uh, process batch. These 62 images are now resized and compressed. And all I have to do is download them to my computer. You can name the folder something you'll remember. And that's it. The file size of these images is now from about 54 kilobytes to maybe 400 at the maximum and still looks great.